your body. Stay down. We'll keep him busy. Knocked! Over here! Quickly! Before he strikes again! Here he comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. Ha! <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son. Merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. <laughs> you have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. You, know, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You'll we'll get up. Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Uh, push! Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Pronto! Don't even think about it! <laughs> Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh-uh, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Nucked. His turn. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello!
Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Paw Paw. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis, wait. Uh, what's a gill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. Something the matter? Got any change on you? The local kind. Funny you should ask. I just paid. So change is about all we have left. Gladio's got the last of it. He might share if you ask nicely. Broken down and so Lady flat Lady Freya would be illusion? She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Huh? Knocked? A uh, bit steep for a simple tune-up, don't you think? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along. Zeit zu verlieren. Okay. I think I got a pebble in my shoe. Take it out. Yeah. Alive, hurricane! 
hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, you half airship. That's three halves. I'm sick of walking around. Then try running. Ha! <laughs> You're joking, right? Anybody else excited for the next time our car breaks down? Are you really that desperate? Yep, I really am. It's too dangerous! Get out of here now! Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. Thanks. Nice. Mission complete. Sun's colder today. Yep, getting pretty dark out here. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. A fella named Dave went off. We ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. What did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. Have a look, Noct. What's this? Nothing to it. Onward. Well, that takes care of them. Uh, you don't think they took care of Dave, do you? Yeah! 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 
Master tactician strikes again with a vengeance. Knocked rules. Yep. All right, we're done here. Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. <sighs> Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest. Oh, sounds too dangerous to be let alone. Tell us where to go. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. I've been hunting for years, but I ain't never seen dual horns with blood-red tusks like those. Wonder if the night's growing longer's got anything to do with them showing up out of the blue. Well, whatever it is, we ought to take it out before it can spawn. <laughs> I can murder some fine dining about now. What are you talking about? It's camp food. You eat all you want. Yeah, but the want part is the catch. It would be wise to rest up before we... Yeah, good idea. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. <laughs> Dinner tonight? What are we thinking? Well, this ain't gonna put a dent in my hunger. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Spoke too soon. Let me give the orders this time. Just keep it short. It's simple. Attack. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Over with. And now that Dave's safe and sound, I say we go see Cindy. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she purdy? All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes so I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that thanks again, and take care, y'all. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer, but... Once we're back in the Crown City, 
I think I better score my own wheels. Cindy never said a word about what was in the package. How Perhaps she couldn't say. Girls gotta keep her secrets safe. We're not golden bound yet. He's right. Cindy's counting on us. Well, don't want to disappoint her, do you? No. You all came all the it's way out here time to deliver the goods. Golden. Well, thank you kindly. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to golden. stuff. Atta boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? <sighs> Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah. Sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure, that's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. <laughs> all set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Uh, hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The. Yes, sir. The headhunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. Well, look who it is. I really owe you boys one. Make that two. Yeah. Well, yeah, looks like they found another one. Wait, uh... Found another what? Tag. Us hunters keep them on our person at all times as identification. What? In case you forget who you are? Hunters lead a life of danger. And sometimes these tags are the only things that make it back in one piece. If y'all happen to find any tags lying around out there, would you do me a favor and send them my way? Yeah. Sure. Those tags are heavy stuff. They certainly carry emotional weight. We'd best find and return them. And give the families peace of mind. How's a dog like that managed to follow you around everywhere? Being one of the Oracle's 24 messengers has its perks. Circumventing time-space, notwithstanding. Well, if that's the case, why doesn't Prina transcend her way over here sometime? Prina? 
Lady Luna Freya's other dog, Umbra's little sister. She's white and fluffy. Oh, and totes adorbs. Rescued? And it's thanks to her I'm here now. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. Can't say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Shall we shop a bit? I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Yeah, right. Oh. You believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Ah, oh, man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? According to my sources, the Empire. Given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding. Right, Prince Noctus? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis, bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish, in exchange for a favor. The sound of tacit agreement. Here, marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capete? really got your number, Nox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Mm, this has got to be the place. All that's left is to find the stone. Hmm. Real quiet out here. Far removed from the hustle and bustle of the Crown City. <laughs> 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 
That's what makes it hard to stay awake. Storm's gonna ruin my hair. I'm not sure whether it's a storm front or just the terrain. Yeah, just worry about your stuff blowing away. <laughs> 